drove up into the Knoll area and took a look around and honestly started crying because it is the perfect place to leave your boys. It's like what you envision a summer camp to be. When we made the decision to send our oldest son to camp, one thing that was really important to us that it was a camp of a manageable size. When I was searching for a camp, it was all about the values. I didn't want a camp that was too competitive, that was too had too many amenities. I wanted to get back to the good old fashioned values that I remember when I went to camp in New Hampshire. One thing that I do I liked about William Lawrence Camp is that the first time the kids came they could they could come for just two weeks and so if it really wasn't an experience that they enjoyed, it wasn't a huge investment in either time or money. Just being with other boys, meeting kids, uh, he really loves meeting kids from all over. It feels like a really good place for my son to be, but it's not crazy competitive. There's a lot of sports. He's not a sporty guy, but he loves it here, which is fantastic for him to get that exposure. I love that he's away from home and the family for a little bit and developing himself. I love that he tries new activities here. I love the location. I, I love everything about it. <laughs> it has enough for the kids to be comfortable, but not too much in terms of the modern world of electronics. But a lot of it is the activities and new experiences, catching fish last year and learning how to gut it and cook it uh, was a bit significant uh, uh, experience for my older son. The friendships that I developed at camp are completely different than the other ones that I've had in my life at school. And honestly, they're still my closest friends. They come up to be part of a place that values the traditional camp spirit, the outdoor living skills, the waterfront, all kinds of sporting events, sports. I think when you build a, a friendship at camp, and a lot of them, like you're on a backpacking trip, maybe the weather's not so good or the hike's a lot harder than you thought, you dig down deep and you, 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 there are challenges and, and you overcome those hurdles and you do it with your friends and then that creates a bond that, that is unique that only camp can build. We are always impressed with all of Peter's counselors. They're just delightful young men. Uh, so outgoing and smart and interested. Young gentlemen at their best. I mean obviously a lot of these kids have come through the camp experience and uh, I think that shows. Campers that have come up through the ranks, they know the culture of the camp and I think that's really important. It, it, it keeps the traditions going. And all of the staff members that I've met have just been very polite, um, congenial young men who I think are good role models for my boys. And we know that when we drop him off, when we come up here and drop him off, that he's in great hands and that, you know, the next four weeks he's going to be well cared for. and. We don't have any worries. I was on the fence about sending my kids to camp. It's sort of scary to, you know, leave your child somewhere and, um, you know, for a long period of time, and when, especially when you've never done it before. You know, you see it when they come back from, um, from being away for two or four weeks. You know, they'll come home, and even though they're glad to be home, they're always looking at their watch saying, if I were at camp now, this is what I'd be doing. Anytime you, you, your child leaves home, it has to feel right and you have to know that you're sending them someplace where they're going to be safe, they're going to be happy and they're going to grow and learn and I've always had that feeling from the moment I spoke to Nat Crane on the phone to the moment we drove here and I dropped my first son off 11 years ago, I never looked back. I will readily say when we left Peter the first summer, I sobbed halfway home to Massachusetts and when we picked him up he was practically speechless with delight. You're, you, you love your son and you're going to miss him, but it's, you do it because they love it. You get the opportunity to challenge yourself in ways that you don't normally have throughout the rest of the school year, for instance. And I think that's very healthy for a young person. But to see how much the boys have grown in um, their abilities and their confidence and their excitement to come back to camp every year, it's one of the best things that we've ever done for them. Our son comes home from camp like a whole new, whole different kid. Uh, much more confident, happy, just really well adjusted. They've learned a lot of new skills. They've learned how to get along with others. He is um, remarkably helpful and charming around the house in a way that he is not sometimes, just sometimes during the rest of the year. And I think it's the fact that they can be themselves. 
uh, they can come here and be kids. One of the reasons that we're up here this weekend is we're actually looking at camps for our daughter. And we keep trying to compare the camps to William Lawrence and we haven't been able to do that. I knew they were safe and I knew that they'd have a great time. So I would just say if you're not sure about camp, it's because you haven't discovered William Lawrence.